If you guys are looking for a really cool death counter, make sure you guys watch the video fully. This is going to be how to fully customize it. Every single time we die, we just click on one button on the keyboard and boom. What's going on guys, Jurassic Ass here. Today we're going to be learning how to download a death counter. A link will be in the description down below for you guys to get here. But basically all we need to do is head over to DCSB version 4.009. Click on the execution and it's going to automatically download it at the bottom left hand corner of the screen for us and go ahead and click on that. You are going to have to have this application open every single time that you want to actually have your death counter working for you. Unfortunately, it's not a way to have it automated. So basically the plan is while it's downloading in the background, you're going to have a hotkey where you click a button, for example, and that is where it's going to be slowly counting up and click finish. All right, so now that we got all that installed, I'm going to hit the Windows key, head over to DCSB and launch the application. Now this is going to require a text file before it will actually work. As you guys can see here, click it. We are going to need a file. So we're going to head over in our computer and make a new file real quick. So all you got to do is right click into an open area, go to new, and then you want to make a text document. For example, we're going to call it death counter. And now all we have to do is search our desktop to go into that location. So now that we're back inside the application, click on the plus sign here where it says add counter file right here and search. We're going to search on our desktop and just type in death, death counter text, click on open. Now you can name it to whatever you want. We're just going to have it a generic thing. So basically, if you guys want to have several different counters, that way, if you play different style of games and everything, you'll be able to do multiple different tracking at the same time. However, if you just want a blanket one to do it whenever you're streaming, then just do it this way. So the default settings is going to be to have the add key and subtract key be to increase and decrease. So we're going to test that out around over here. So let's do plus minus. See how it's going up. Now we just click the minus on it's going down. So to change the keys, all you got to do is double click and then you're good to go. So now if we just click on new keys is going to count up. We want to make sure we're in the right column though, however. So if you guys notice how now the row is actually correct, so whatever you're changing through, make sure everything is blue. If it's not blue, you're going to be going into the other columns. So for example, right now, we'll be adding into this one and not the one that we actually have labeled, which it doesn't necessarily matter, but if you had multiple different text files, you could basically have them all separate tiers. Now there is some other stuff that we can do. We can actually change like the sounds. So I'm going to have the next link in the description down below as well. So we're going to see if we can actually get the laugh from Richtofen inside our death counter because that'd be super cool. <laughs> all right, so we got all that. So files, so if we do you, all right, so we named it COD Zombies. So let's see, COD MP3, open that up. Now keys. So we might need a little bit more customization, but basically every single time we die now, if I click the multiply key, it's going to automatically laugh. Now you guys are probably wondering how to actually get this in OBS. Everything on this application is set. We're just going to head over to OBS now and figure the rest out. Once we get inside of OBS, you want to click the plus sign, head over to the text, name it to whatever text you want. For example, death. Now you want to click on read file, click on the browse, and we're going to be searching for the original text file that we created earlier. We called it death counter. So now all we have to do is click on open. It's going to automatically pull it up for us. Now this is where you can customize the fonts or whatever if you wanted to. So I'm using the agency FB fonts if you guys are curious. I will have the font link down in the description down below if you guys want to download it. But we're just going to click on OK for now. So anti-aliasing is basically going to be to smooth it out with some or not. So you can pick and choose if you want it to have a little bit jaggedy. We're going to have it a little bit smaller on our screen so it doesn't necessarily matter. I personally like gradient so I am going to have the gradient color. So I'm going to have a green base. And then see how it's white up top. You can select another color, for example, this like light blue. And then if you want to play around with the slider some, you can sort of mix and match. I think that looks pretty cool. Background color, basically, that's going to be your behind the number. We're going to have it so there's actually like a tombstone behind it. So it looks super cool, but that's going to be how we have it. And click OK. So one thing that is a little finicky about this death counter you do have to have it on top of your OBS. So right now I'm clicking the buttons and it's not actually working. As soon as I put it back on top of OBS, see how it's like black. If it was in the background, it would have like a slight shade out of it. So just make sure this is on top of OBS. That way, you know, the application is good. Click on the button. Boom. We get the Rick Toffin laugh. 
it's going to come up and we got a brand new number. Now this next part is going to be a little bit extra. I'm going to have timestamps in the description down below if you guys want to hop around, but this is going to be how to have like a proper tombstone in the background. So I think that looks pretty good. So we are going to go ahead and click on save. You basically name this wherever you want. So we're going to click save as well. It's what we want. So we want Turnstone. This is going to be found in our download. So now we head back over into OBS. Click on the plus sign. Go over into image source. So you want Turnstone. Search for that. So we have it just in our downloads right now. So we'll just click on that. Boom. It's fully customized. Has no background. And make sure you click unload. We're not showing that way it doesn't do anything. Click on OK. So now we've got a tombstone. We can sort of click and drag however we want. So now our text font, we want to make sure that that is on top of that. So we drag this up top, shrink this down a little bit, put you on top of there. We might need to change the colors and stuff around just a little bit. But as you guys can see, now that we have the death counter on the top there, we just click it. Definitely went a little bit darker tombstone, but we'll work on that later on. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.